welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make this beautiful festive decorations or party decorations. See how beautiful are these. Isn't it? So come, join me in making these together. So today we are going to make this beautiful decorative piece using A4 sheets, colored A4 sheets. For making this, we need colored A4 sheets. I have taken a red sheet. Some thread if you want to hang it somewhere. Glue. A pair of scissors. A pen for marking out the cutout. And some card sheet. To make the cutout of it, we will cut these sheets into four parts to make the pattern out of it. So first you fold lengthwise and then one more fold. So we will get four pieces out of this A4 sheet. Now we will fold these cut sheets likewise. So first fold it at the center. Then one part you will fold once more. Once again see. From the middle you will fold these cutouts. Then one part of that folded sheet will be folded once again. I like to do it this way. We need 12 such cutouts to make the complete pattern. So ideally we need 3 A4 sheets so that we get 12 cutouts out of it. Now we will apply a line of glue on the folded part. And the other half, we are going to stick it to this uh, glue, glued area. So I would, so I'll put glue on all the sheets. Just observe, I have put glue on the folded part of the sheet. Then the other part which was left unfolded will be glued on to this folded area and just ensure that when you are folding this cutouts all the folded cutouts should be same in size one should not be small another should not be broader just ensure that all the cutouts are of the same size I will do this to all the 12 sheets to ensure that the front portion is not sticking to the back paper. So it should look like an envelope. Now to make the pattern of the design that I am going to make, I am going to use the same size hard card paper so that I can cut the pattern onto that card paper and that pattern will be traced out onto these A4 folded sheets. So I need the same size card paper. It can be anything that is lying around an invitation card or a greeting card which is 
lying around in your house. So now I am going to fold this lengthwise because we need the pattern to be same on both the sides. So I will draw, draw the pattern on one side. It can be any pattern. Just keep the base as is. Don't make any modification to the base. So after tracing, we will cut out this pattern on the card sheet. And now we'll trace this pattern on each of this folded A4 sheets. So using a pen, just trace this out. Once traced out, we'll cut out this pattern on the card A4 sheet as well. So if you want, you can trace this pattern on all the folded A4 sheets or do it on 4-5 and then keep 2-3 stack 2-3 pieces together and then you can cut it out together. If you are not comfortable doing that, it's better to trace out the pattern on each and every paper and then cut it out because we want same pattern on all the folded A4 sheets so that your design at the end looks beautiful. So do these on all the remaining sheets. While cutting this pattern on the A4 sheet, just ensure that you don't make this mistake. I will show you in a moment what I am referring to. Because if you do that, then your pattern will be completely messed up and you will not get the design that you desire. I am showing it on two sheets right now. So this is one. I will do the same on the other as well. And just see the difference between the two. I just thought I will show you this otherwise this mistake can be made if you are doing it for the first time. So 
so here I have cut out the pattern on both the sheets and see what I have done here oops it should be connected on both the sides if you have any sheet which you have cut it out completely on both the sides the pattern will not be seen in the final design see this side I have completely cut out so when you pull it out the pattern will not be seen so you need to ensure that both the sides there is some portion which is connected at the bottom as well as on the top so it should be connected like that okay I have made the pattern on all the 12 pieces and cut it out so we are now ready to go to the next step we will put a light little glue on the center of this pattern and at the base of this pattern likewise a little bit don't go too much on the gluing part otherwise the sheets will not open up once you are completely stuck stacked up all the cutouts on top of each other so ensure that you are putting only little bit of glue A little on the middle and little on the base I have stuck all the pieces together and this is how it looks just ensure that it is properly stacked one on top of each other it's aligned properly now this seems to have dried up so let's check on it so if you feel that any of the pieces are stuck in between just open it up using a scale or a pen so the individual pieces the individual pieces should be not stuck to each other so if by any chance if it is stuck together because of all the gluing that we have done just ensure that you open it up just do that for all the pieces otherwise we will not get the desired pattern that we are expecting once you have ensured that all the pieces are opened just see whether it is touching the other side with fully open patterns for each and every sheet see how beautiful that looked now if you want to connect the ends with each other you can go ahead and do that and you can stick it to your wall or your cupboard or wherever you want to stick it but i would like to hang it so i'm going to attach a thread in between before i stuck stick together the end sheets so you can take a thread any colored thread or a cord that you're having and just apply a little bit glue to the middle and the bottom as we did for the remaining cutouts and now 
place this thread at the center just ensure it remains in the center by just sticking both the ends together I will also apply a little bit of glue on the other end and just get both the pieces together and stick it Just ensure that the thread is in the center. Okay. Once you have done that, use a paper clip. At any clip that you are having, I am using this clip to hold the pieces together until it dries up. So I put one on the top and one on both the sides. Two each one each on both the sides and I will again leave it to dry see how beautiful this is looking if you hang it up it is going to look just look awesome isn't it if you want, you can attach a decorative piece on the center, a bead like a pearl bead, a half bead or any paper cutout or flower. You can put it to the center. But I would like to leave it as is. It is looking pretty as is. Oh wow, that's really pretty. I'm sure you're going to make this or at least try it out and see how is it looking. You can do this with various colors and this is just not the pattern. See the pattern that I've used for the yellow one is completely different from the one that I've made for the red one. You can use your own imagination and try to make different patterns and get different looks to these decorations. Hope you will try it out and leave me a comment. Thank you. See you with uh, see you in another video.